I think if you look at South Park episodes and you look at it broadly, okay, you look at how they've attacked and, and looked at religion and anti-religion and agnosticism. We, did, we don't go into um, the ep episode on agnostic um, beliefs where they all drink Dr. Pepper because it's not Coca-Cola, it's not root beer, you know. Uh, um, anyways, the thing is with South Park, if you look at any of the episodes, you know, what's the problem, okay? The divine leadership is not the problem, okay? This concept of divine, of these divine entities, of these gods. It's how people, how people on earth interpret these words of the gods, how they behave based upon them, in the hypocrisy in their behavior and with the word of these gods, right? Um, and they really look at, you know, the hypocritical and, you know, um, they look at how religious systems can be, be, can be entirely hypocritical, preaching love and compassion yet, you know, um, claiming that God hates gay people, you know, shit like that. You know, they explore um, the nuance of that, you know, and um, I love this quote in, in the book, you know, uh, carnival and subjecting, you know, religious representations of the religion to a lower body stratum is a reminder that even the Pope's shit stinks too. I love that. I love that quote from the book. So as we know, the war on Christmas in South Park, right, South Park started with religious debate. Is Christmas about uh, Christianity or is it about presence? And obviously their, their belief is it's secular, it's about presence. Um, the important thing is that, you know, South Park doesn't actually attack the religion itself, which is how a lot of people interpret, interpret it. But it's actually, uh, you know, typically an attack on these dogmatic views. Um, they look at, you know, these, some of these, uh, these viewpoints, these belief systems, um, you know, that, you know, followers of these religions believe as, you know, unquestionably true, and they challenge the, that. That's not an attack at the religion per se. It's an attack at taking that religion and interpreting it to an extreme uh, level without question, okay? Um, as we'll see in Red Hawk Catholic Love, uh, South Park also dismantles biblical inerrancy. Whoa, biblical inerrancy, which is basically this concept. Um, you know, uh, the Bible is God's word. It is the word. Okay, or and you, know, you look at any uh, religious text, but specifically in South Park and Red Hawk Catholic Love is. The Bible is the word, the, the Vatican, you know, the holy documents of Vatican law or whatever, you know, are the truth, okay? And inerrancy is this concept, which is important, is that the Bible is perfect. It's this brilliant document that's a historical document, that it documents history. Now, it may have documentation of history as most literature does, but is it a historical document in itself? And they really, really challenge that concept that it, that it is an actual historical document. Um, which, you know, uh, brings up a lot of issues, right? Because a lot of people believe in biblical inerrancy, that the Bible is the way, it is the word, it is the truth, and it is history. Versus some lessons about maybe how you should live your life in a morally, you know, well, not even morally, but in, in, in a way that, you know, uh, I guess is a moral path, right? It gives you moral lessons. That kind of gets lost in the element of it being truth. And so what people wrote as truth, um, you know, in 100 AD, about relationships and about, you know, uh, society may not be the truth of 2020, you know. 
Um, I think the important thing is that South Park doesn't actually challenge um, the beliefs. They specifically go at the believers and how the believers take the beliefs to the extreme and, and basically misinterpret these documents and exploit people who believe in them, you know? Um, in essence, though, it brings up this question, and I think this is a question I hope you've kind of put in your head throughout this term when we think about you know, politics, censorship, uh, patriotism, you know, all these things, um, these systems, you know, capitalism, whatever. Do these systems encourage critical thought? Can religion encourage critical, critical thought or critical reflection on the world? Does this get more problematic? Can you think critically if you have dogmatic or fundamentalist views? And therefore, you know, if we think about open and closed societies, how can uh, religious dogma be an enemy to the open society? How can it be a problem? You know? And should it? Should it not? It should probably be the opposite. You know? So they explore these, these things in South Park.